The state gambling board will soon consider Bally's $1.7 billion casino plan for Chicago, but today a new bump in the road. CBS 2's Chris Ty is always investigating, and he has more on a state report shining a light on problem gambling. It's destroyed lives, it's uh, creating desperate people, it's creating desperate situations. A clearer picture of that desperation has emerged. This new report from the State Department of Human Services shows nearly 4% of Illinoisans are problem gamblers, spending on average $16,750 a year on gambling. 30% have gambling debt over $50,000. 10% have considered or attempted suicide. More than half say it's led to neglecting their family and kids. Thank you, a quorum is present. The figures recently presented to the Illinois Gaming Board the same group deciding the future of Chicago's $1.7 billion casino project along the river run by Bally's Corporation. Gambling opponents don't expect these addiction figures will change, though, the outcome of that Bally's vote. Our growth industry in Illinois is gambling. Our growth industry in Illinois is marijuana. What kind of future do we expect from that? It's a future Reverend Dr. Myron McCoy of First United Methodist Church says was predictable by studying other states. And when voters turn down bond measures, it leaves politicians having to find those dollars elsewhere. We knew that these patterns were real. Now, now they've come home. A Bally spokesperson telling me today their proposal for the Illinois Gaming Board will not be ready in time for the Gaming Board's meeting later this month. But they still remain hopeful that the temporary casino will open here next year and that the permanent casino in River West will still open in 2025 or 2026. In River North, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. The Chicago Casino Plan was endorsed by Mayor Lightfoot and approved by the City Council. It was presented as a way to pay for police and fire pensions without raising property taxes.